Hey, what's going on everybody? Today's reaction is going to be on Skarner, the Primordial Sovereign. If this is your first time checking out the channel, what we do is we're going to take a look at the biography and story first. We'll move on to the gameplay abilities, any cinematics Skarner might have, take a look at the skins and fandom wiki, and we'll end off with the special interactions and voice lines at the very end. Okay, so the only two things I know about Skarner is one, he looks like a scorpion, right? Like that's, that's the overall image of him. I don't know if there's anything more to it than that. Number two is I know he had like his lore and the look of him like redone, reworked, et cetera, et cetera, right? You know, I, I know he used to be made of like some crystal or something beforehand, but now they've totally changed it and it's like a totally different lore, maybe just to go in line with like actual lore of the world of Runeterra. I have no idea. That's what we're going to find out today. A few of you recommended that I check out Skarner since he did just have a rework done to him. So let's go ahead and dive in and learn all about Skarner today. All right. Our quote says, I may have faded into legend, but I am no mere story. So now I wonder, did they totally scrap all the voice lines? Have they scrapped like pretty much everything about Skarner and just redone him totally? Like same thing with the abilities and everything. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if like kind of everything was redone for him. All right, a role is tank, region is Ishtal. I don't know if that changed or anything like that. And then it's Malphite, Kiana, and Milio that are the related champions. We have done a video on Kiana and Milio if you want to check those two out. We haven't done Malphite yet. Although you guys have mentioned to do Malphite at some point. The ancient colossal Bracker in Skarner is revered in Ishtal as one of the founding members of its ruling caste, the Yuntal. Devoted to keeping his nation safe from the rest of the world, Skarner dwells in a chamber beneath Izalakan where he can hear the vibrations of the earth and detect potential threats. As more members of the Yuntal begin questioning Ishtal's self-isolation, Skarner grows increasingly paranoid and will do anything to keep Ishtal and its people safe, no matter the cost. Okay, so now they've totally, I, I don't recall anything about like him being related to Ishtal or being like a defender of Ishtal, but it sounds like they've kind of changed him to be a defender of Ishtal and like he'll protect it at all costs. But what is he? He's just like a colossal bracker. Now I haven't done a reaction to Galio, but in my mind, what I think of when I think of Galio is he's like a defender of Demacia. Now I want to think of like Skarner kind of in the same sense. You guys let me know if I'm off on that. All right, let's check out the biography. All Ishtali grow up hearing the name Skarner, the ancient protector of Ishtal, the Brackern who shaped the earth itself and built the first arcologies. His visage is painted in reliefs and immortalized in the annals of Ishtal's history, a myth still honored and revered. But deep beneath the cardinal arcology of Aizal Khan is the chamber where Skarner dwells. There he listens to the vibrations of the earth above him, listens and waits. Skarner's myth began millennia ago. Born to the Brackern clan Opolkin, he was a progeny of the legendary broodmother Nixal. While the other Bracklings and his brood left the safety of Nixal's back, Skarner chose to linger, his unease and curiosity driving him to study her power and wisdom. Okay, very interesting lore we already have going on here. Very different, I feel like. Observation soon evolved into ingenuity. Unlike his broodmate, Skarner honed the Brackern's innate control of Earth and perfected the art of reading underground vibrational patterns, allowing him to sense and decipher faraway movements. Okay, that's a cool ability. When Skarner was older, it was through these vibrations that he detected a dramatic shift in the continent, marked by the arrival of settlers from the east. Oh, wow. Clan Opalhin did not trust these newcomers, but Skarner's curiosity could not be suppressed. He needed to know what made them tick. Does Skarner speak? I actually have no idea. He's got to have regular voice lines, right? He surveyed these Ishtali people. They were born, they toiled, they died. They're one second, they're one second, and gone the next. However, through his observations, Skarner saw that they used what limited time they had to build, create, and invent. Their existence fascinated him until he discovered just how fragile they truly were. When a nearby rock slide threatened to destroy the burgeoning Ishtali settlement, Skarner, wanting to preserve the subjects of his observation, intervened. Okay, so he saved them. Very nice. Emerging from the jungle, he towered over the people and used his physical strength and command to the, of the earth to pulverize the rock slide before it could touch the village. As the dust cleared, the Ishtali gazed upon their savior in awestruck reverence and gratitude. Oh, really? They weren't, like, scared of him? Within Skarner, a protectiveness began to stir. These fragile beings could not survive without him. He no longer observed the Ishtali from afar, and as he became more involved with them, Skarner spent less time with his clan. The humans became his permanent project and their nation his new home. I don't like that he's calling it the, his project, but okay. The relationship he formed with the early Ishtali was one of the exchange. One of exchange. The Ishtali shared their culture and history, and Skarner used his earthen prowess to help build the cardinal arcology of Azal Khan where the planet's lines of power connected. But Skarner's greatest contribution was as a founding member of the civilization's ruling caste. Combining Ishtal's scientific mindset with the collectivist culture of the Brackern, the Yuntal's goal was to lead its people into a bright future. Okay, I love so far that we're getting like a lot of background to Ishtal and Izalakan and like just we're getting more lore in that area because it's still always kind of like a mysterious place, I feel like. Um, so this is cool. And so it was through Skarner's protection that Ishtal flourished. 
Outside of Ishtal, the Shariman Empire extended its reach, and Skarner watched as Ascended stormed the continent. His belief in the resourcefulness of mortals was shattered as he saw the darker side of humanity, corruption driven by a lust for power. Skarner could sense the building tension in Shirima. He was vocal about his distrust, but when the Shariman Empire invited Ishtal to form an alliance, the Yuntal eagerly accepted. Okay, cool. With the Akathian Rebellion, he was vindicated, but at the cost of many lives. By the time the Shariman Empire collapsed and Ishtal regained its independence, Skarner had nothing but disgust left for the world outside their jungle, a wasteland of pain and suffering. Okay, yeah, so this is where we're getting like he's very much protective of Ishtal and he doesn't want any other people coming in at all. A wasteland made even worse by the Rune Wars. Witnessing such destruction, Skarner finally convinced the Yuntal to withdraw from the world, shielding their lands with magic and lies to hide themselves away. Oh, so is Skarner kind of the reason why Ishtal is so like secluded and like people don't really know anything about them. This must be kind of why. But his faith in the Yuntal was shaken. Where they'd failed to keep the Ishtali safe, Skarner would not. Now knowing that only he could protect Ishtal, Skarner constructed himself an underground chamber below Aizawa Khan designed to amplify the vibrational threads across the continent. Every thrum spoke of another threat to Ishtal's safety, but he could also hear the steady noise of Ishtal above him, proof that through his sovereignty, the city continued to thrive. So he's basically kind of got like a command center under underground where he's just like able to monitor everything because he can like read the earth like shaking and stuff. There he listened and waited. Deep beneath the dark earth, his paranoia festered until over time, vigilance gave way to seclusion and he ceased leaving his chamber altogether. Whoa. To the Ishtali above ground, Skarner slowly faded from memory into myth, his presence known only by the Yuntal who traveled underground to confer with him about Ishtal's future. Now as new generations of elemental masters join the Yuntal, discussions have begun about the possibility of rejoining the world once more. Skarner hears these whispers which spur his paranoia as he knows that opening the door will invite pain, suffering, and death like it did generations ago. The only one Skarner can trust is himself, and he'll do anything it takes to protect Ishtal and its people even if that means becoming the root of their destruction himself. So yeah, he's become so like paranoid and like protective of Ishtal. He can't let it go. He can't let anybody hurt Ishtal. He can't get let anybody near it that he's like become this obsessive kind of defender of Ishtal. Very interesting. And he's he's become so paranoid that like he doesn't leave the chamber. He's waiting for like some big threat to come to Ishtal that yeah, or like if the Yuntal decide to like start spreading out and going and like finding more people, like Skarner might prevent it. That's a very interesting lore to him. I like kind of like how Skarner's kind of dark, but also like very protective at the same time. He's like a protective dad, but like that goes too far is kind of what I'm getting here. Very cool. I like this new uh, lore for him. I don't know what the old one was. I just know that it was pretty old, but I want to hear from you guys like what you think of this new biography. Um, does this seem a lot better than what it was before? All right, guys, so this is going to be a bit of a shorter reaction video for a champion this week, only because, you know, Skarner just had a visual upgrade. A lot of this stuff got retconned. They don't have, like, a story for him. They don't have, you know, we're not going to watch the gameplay abilities video because that's super old, but we are going to check out another gameplay ability video. But we do have the dev video about Skarner's new lore. I figured we'd give this a watch. It's three minutes long. It just says devs spill the beans. Skarner's new lore. It's a dev video straight from League of Legends. So here we go. For a really long time, I've been wanting to write a horror based character, and a lot of my characters have been very wholesome and cute, but I've also wanted to work on something kind of terrifying. Okay. So when we were looking at Skarner, we were like, yes, our time has come. We're going to write what we call Scorer, which is Skarner Horror. Scorer? <laughs> Hi, I'm Elise Lemoyne. I'm a senior writer here at Riot Games. I mean, Skarner is scary. On Skarner's VGU. He's Today scary I'm looking. I'm here to talk about Skarner's lore and all the excitement that that brings for Runeterra and League of Legends. Okay, cool. Skarner's new lore is that he is a 10,000 plus year old Brackern and is the longest serving and founding member of Ishtal's ruling caste, the Yuntal. Mm -hmm. As the longest serving member, he has been a part of Ishtal's history and has been a part of every key decision you know, leading up to the present, including yeah. the decision to sequester Ishtal from the rest of the world. He is determined to protect Ishtal at any cost. See, I like that. I do like the lore the for him. That he sees the world develop outside of Ishtal has just fueled this paranoia that may not be entirely reality. Mm. Skarner sees that mortals will do anything they can to grasp even a modicum of power. It's true. And that their <laughs> like penchants for violence is also incredibly high. I mean, Skarner's kind of not wrong. Distrusts them, and he's hearing these whispers of you know ending Ishtal's isolation, and that's like really driving his paranoia. 
what oh. makes Garner scary. Is this his theme? That he's giant or that he can rip through the terrain. It is this paranoia and that even mm -hmm. the best intentions can become twisted. Oh, that wow. People kind of engage I mean... with the Garner story and feel the kind of visceral fear that comes from uh, twisted good intentions, like what it yeah. means to be in that position and to also be on the receiving end of a character like Skarner. Hmm. I like this kind of video that they're doing for, for a champion. The I hope they do these in the future. The reason why we lore is, you know, with the goal of creating a single canon throughout all of Runeterra, mm -hmm. uh, there leaves a lot of questions with uh, the Brackern and, and Hextech and what that means. On a personal level, working on Skarner and knowing I'm changing so much, it's a little terrifying. I know nothing about the old Skarner. Because we so. want to place these champions, like, in our lore, we want to elevate them even higher, but we also don't want to disrespect the people who love Skarner and the reasons why they love Skarner. And so now as like- The Skarner the lovers. The oldest member of the Yuntal, Skarner is now one of the most important characters in Ishtal. Yeah, Which really he is. elevates him to a new level. I feel like- But it is still different than where he used to be. I don't know where he was before lore wise, but like, I feel like they made him a very important character in the Ishtal. So, I mean, I hope it's got to be like, better. Current Skarner mains enjoy the new Skarner. He's awesome. I really hope, like with his story, they see. Whoa! His okay, I haven't seen his abilities yet. In Ishtal and how integral he's become to the region, and well, how cool. he's now like, a living piece of their history. Yeah. And that they think that this this new lore is worthy of the character that they are so dedicated. Yeah, to. I guess I need to hear from you guys in the comments. Really, like those of you that know Skarner's lore and now know the new lore unless you're just learning it from my video which is awesome but like what do you guys think of the new lore for skarner versus the old are you guys happy with it um yeah just give me your overall thoughts on the new lore for skarner because as they put it out as an outsider perspective right the way that he's been made to be like this super important figure to the ishtal and like he's been there since the beginning and now he's got like this, he's living underground and it just has this paranoia about his, you know, his community and his people. And then like the leaders still come to him for any advice and everything. I think it made him to be a pretty cool character personally. So, okay. So we're not doing the gameplay abilities video, but we do have a skin spotlights video where they've gone through all of the abilities. So I figured we'd just use this as our go-to ability video. And yeah, let's just take a look. I usually don't use skin spotlights for the abilities, but let's take a look. Okay, so the passive is Threads of Vibration, Skarner's Attack, Shattered Earth, Upheaval, and Impale apply Quaking to enemies. Enemies with three stacks of Quaking take percentage max HP damage over time. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it has to do with his whole Earth abilities. Okay, so Q, Shattered Earth and Upheaval. Okay, we got a big paragraph behind me here, guys. I'm going to read this. I just want to see it. So Skarner rips a rock out of the ground and uses it to empower his next three attacks with bonus damage, range, and attack speed. Let me see this rock. Let me see you throw a rock, Skarner. Oh, he just takes it out of the ground. Okay, and then it says his third attack slams the rock into his a target, slowing and dealing significant bonus damage, ending the effect. Skarner may recast upheaval to throw the rock as a projectile that explodes on the first enemy hit, dealing the same damage and slow, ending the effect. That seems like a pretty good ability, just throw a rock. Seismic Bastion. Skarner gains a shield and slams it in the ground, releasing a shockwave that damages and slows. Oh, that's such a good ability. You literally shield yourself and do an AoE effect around you. And that slows people? Like, that's OP, I feel like. Okay, and then we have E, which is Ishtal's impact. It looks like he's going through the rock here. Skarner charges forward, ignoring terrain, and grabs the first enemy champion or large monster he collides with. Oh, that's scary. He may then carry them a short way, damaging and stunning them if they collide with terrain. No, Riot stated the enemy can see the indicator, much like when Kane is in a wall. So you can see if he's coming. That's crazy. He just slammed him into a wall. It's kind of like, uh, I know I'm comparing to Overwatch again, but it's kind of like Reinhardt's uh, charge ability, I guess. This kind of reminds me of, or Malga's um, charge ability. Okay, and then we have R, which is Impale. This is the one that I, I just saw in the dev video. So Skarner impales up to three enemy champions, damaging and suppressing them. So with all of his stingers. And then it says Skarner gains bonus movement speed for a short time and carries them with him until the end of the effect. I Can you just see us? I feel like seeing a Skarner just running around with three people is hilarious for some reason. And then it says, no, you can't cast Q or E or flash during the ult. 
You can pull enemies over walls. Duration is the same regardless of how many enemies you pull. Okay. So he pretty much just impales three people. Look at that. That's crazy. I mean, it looks really cool. I feel like that's a really good ultimate, personally. So what are we getting here? We're just getting some gameplay. Let's take a look at some of the gameplay. There's some emotes in here as well that we can take a look in this video. We'll take a look at that. I'm excited to see like the, the new gameplay from him. Those of you that have played League against somebody that's using Skarner, if you've used the new Skarner, let me know in the comments like how he feels. Um, you know, you guys discuss in the comments how Skarner is in the game right now. Do they usually like, when they do these visual upgrades uh to champs do they usually like make them a little op at first and then like nerf them down i generally feel like that's how other games do it when a new champ or hero comes out they'll like make them a little op and then nerf them later i don't know i mean i'm sure league is a very hard game to balance so it's got to be difficult for them to make a new champ like this not op but I mean, Skarner looks fun, personally. His abilities don't seem too complicated, except for the one where you go through the wall. I don't know. I feel like there's probably some strat there that I probably would... Oh, he just went through a turret. He almost got Lissandra, but he got stunned. That was cool. Oh, look at that. I love seeing him go through terrain. Look at that charge. That was cool. Man, his original, like his new skin or like his new original design looks so cool to me. I mean, to be fair, I didn't know what his old one looked like, but. Okay, never mind. The charge ability through the terrain just looks like it's pretty easy. You just use it whenever there's like a big team fight. You just dive in and just hope you get somebody, I feel like. Okay. I don't know if I'd be able to play Skarner, though. I mean, he's a... Ugh, listen, I don't like spiders. I don't like scorpions. <laughs> they just look kind of, you know, not great. I want to see him impale someone. Get an impale. Oh, dude, the dive through the terrain is actually so useful. I lied. I thought that ability would be, like, hard for some reason. No. No. And his shield with the shockwave or whatever. That just seems like an OP ability. Okay, cool. Oh, Skarner's voice. Okay, we're going to hear these later, but I wanted to see some of these. Emotes. That's... That's lovely. Is that the crab brave? What is that? Is that like his laugh? Okay, recall. <clears throat> Get back. Dude, Skarner looks so menacing. And especially knowing his lore now. Like, I mean, he's pretty scary. Is this, uh, what is this? Combos? Oh, okay, combos. Uh. Yeah, we'll finish it up. Why not? Shockwave right after the impale. I love to see it. Okay, so it looks like you wanna you wanna use the shockwave right after impaling each time. Oh, we just slammed him into another wall. That was cool. Yo, Belveth can't be happy. I mean, yeah, personally, if I tried League, Skarner seems good. Although I don't know what lane or whatever he plays, but. Very nice. All right, and the last part here was just the splash art. So cool. I really like the splash art for him as well. Thank you, Skin Spotlights, for doing this video for the gameplay abilities. Let me know in the th uh, in the comments, guys, what your thoughts are on the new Skarner rework and all the abilities, and if any of you have actually personally tried Skarner or if you've just gone up against the new Skarner and how it feels. All right, this is exciting. We have a brand new champion theme for Skarner. And I mean, this would be the most recent champion theme for a champ in League of Legends, I think, as of now, because this... Yeah, this is the newest one. Three and a half minutes here. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. I don't know what we're going to get. Um, we've listened to a few people from Ishtali's theme, Melio and Kiana, but I don't know exactly what kind of vibe we're going to get from Skarner. 
dark, I guess. Scary. Ancient. Because that's what he is. I don't know. Well, I guess not ancient. There are definitely beings older than Skarner. Okay. It is the it is the song from the, the dev video we watched. I figured it would be. Okay. Okay, we're we're ramping up here. Okay. We got a a drop? An EDM drop here? It's very like electronic, but like it has a different sound to it. Those strings are interesting. Very sharp. Yeah, okay. They're adding like a, a scariness to it, I feel like. Yeah, the new design looks really good. Dude, those strings are crazy scary. This, like, real deep bass. Oh, they're using drums there, too? Okay, yeah. Like, the real deep bass. Okay, the, the dancing, though. The real deep bass sounds super scary. It's like boss fight music if you were to fight Skarner, right? The triple impale. Oh, right. They had to probably do new artwork for the abilities. I didn't think about that. See, those strings are, like, real, like, I don't know, sharp. I love when they show the musicians. That's awesome. Ooh. That's an interesting skin. Okay, we're getting glimpses of them. Dude, we got three drops in one song? Hello. Very, like, distorted. Oh, a cosmic one. I mean, this is, like, loud and in your face. Which I feel like is what Skarner would be. Dude, I loved that. Yo, that was a really good one. I don't know. It felt like like boss music. If you were to fight Skarner in like an RPG or some other kind of game, right, where you had to have a boss fight against Skarner, it very much felt like that would be the music that would pop up. Very like eerie strings because of like how sharp they were and they would like be just real like loud and like in your ear and just like very like not not nice sounding strings, but like nice for the song, but like, you know what I mean? And then, like, the very distorted guitars and, like, drums in here, like, to, like, an extent of, like, it was electronic music, not, not like, drums and guitar at all. So this, okay, you guys let me know what you thought of the theme. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was, again, I thought it was very menacing and, like, scary, like, boss fight music. And I think that's what Skarner is now. I don't know what he was before, but he's very much, like, the way his new lore is, he's, like, just this old entity that is protecting Ishtal and makes you not want to mess with Ishtal, right? If you were to decide to come and, like, conquer Ishtal... I mean, Skarner's going to be there, and that would be the music that would play if you were to fight him. So, cool. Let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. All right, and here we are, guys, taking a look at Skarner's. I assume all of these are going to be the brand new, like, visual update to Skarner, as I'm seeing the original here. I don't know if the other skins are updates. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. It looks like there's six skins, according to the fandom wiki. We'll go ahead and look through and just pick our favorite, I guess. You guys can let me know what your favorite uh, skin is for Skarner as well. So let's take a look at the 3D of the new original visual upgrade. So this is going to be pretty interesting. Okay, here we go. Here's Skarner in all his glory. Look at him. Pretty scary looking. 
I mean, I like the design. I don't know how you guys feel about this design over the old Skarner. Obviously, old Skarner is, he was very old, right? So this has to be pretty cool update for all of you Skarner mains out there and just in general, anybody that likes to play Skarner from time to time. Okay, that skin's good. Let's move on. Okay, next we have Sand Scourge. So we're basically getting like a, I'll say a Shariman coat over Skarner. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, yeah. He's almost like a reddish orange, right? very cool looking i would say it's like a shuriman kind of like skin for him a little bit i guess maybe not because shuriman armor usually is gold i feel like so yeah i mean this is just his own thing he is very scary in this one i mean not to say his original isn't scary but this is like i don't know it's like the reddish orange is like making him more menacing right cool i like that one okay next up we have earth rune okay he's fully armored in this one let's take a look at this looks like he's fully armored anyways yeah he's super fully armored I mean obviously these aren't the stingers aren't but I like the blue I like the blue like crystals here or whatever's going on there earth runes maybe I do like this quite a bit oh god don't look underneath Skarner it just looks like I'm not into bugs or anything or scorpions personally so don't look over there he looks kind of scary anyways I like this except I don't like the pincers I feel like I don't like the pincers and the armor. It's a little too bulky looking. I think my favorite part is definitely like the blue gems or runes or whatever they are here. Other than that, I think I like the other two better. Okay, next up is Battlecast Alpha. We've seen a couple of Battlecast skins. Let's take a look here. It's kind of like a Noxus skin in my opinion, usually what they look like. Okay, those pincers are pretty freaking scary. He is a robotic machine. You know what he looks like? He looks like something that would be like a boss in Final Fantasy VII. That might be like a... a I feel like that's not a deep cut personally because Final Fantasy VII is pretty popular, but um, yeah, he just totally looks like a boss from Final Fantasy VII. I like it. I like it for that aspect. This kind of design isn't usually like my go-to though. I don't, you know, like this skin is for someone, right? For sure. But I feel like I'm liking Sand Scourge and original skin better, but like this is a badass skin. Like it's very much so a badass skin, but I don't like it for Skarner personally. I don't know, it's really good. I feel like I'm I'm knocking it, but it's really not bad whatsoever. Okay, we got two more. We have Guardian of the Sands. Oh, here's our Shuriman one actually, basically. Okay, yeah, this is more like your Shuriman armor here with the gold. The gold's a little shiny. I mean, I guess it should be. I like the gold with the teal, man. The gold with the teal looks good. Underneath doesn't look as scary because his his legs are actually armored. Ooh, I like this one actually quite a bit. The golden and the teal looks pretty badass, personally. Is it my favorite? I don't know yet, but personally, off the bat, I like it. All right, and last but not least, we have Cosmic Sting. Oh, come on. Am I going to pick the Cosmic one? <laughs> Am I going to end up just picking the Cosmic one? I guess I should look at the chromas on these. Ooh, how do I feel about this? How do I feel about this Skarner look? I don't know quite yet. I like it. Okay, I like this. I like the cosmic skins, as you guys know. Okay, that one didn't load properly. Oh, the rest of them aren't, aren't loading properly. But mm, I don't know if it takes the cake on this one. No, honestly, it kind of has to. The pincers are really cool. The pincers are the best. I feel like I liked the stingers more on the one skin that we didn't like with the, the earth rune one. For some reason, I like the earth. If I could get like the earth rune stingers, it probably wouldn't look as good with the front armor here, but the earth rune stingers are better, but I do like the front half here on Skarner more. It's kind of up to this or the Shuriman Guardian Sands one. Mm. Okay, we're going to cop out. I'm going to take one last look at through all of them here, and I think I'm just going to say I like the Cosmic Stinger or the Cosmic Sting Skarner version the most. Although original Skarner is not bad, guys. I honestly think original Skarner is pretty cool looking now. But of course, you have all these additional skins. And you know what? Battlecast. I'm going to give Battlecast an honorable mention because of the fact that it reminds me of Final Fantasy VII, which is a game I played growing up. And, you know, with the remakes and everything going on right now, I actually really love the skin for, like, the idea of a boss fight in Final Fantasy VII. All right, guys, of course, let me know what your favorite skin for the new Skarner update is uh, in the comments. All right, let's take a look at the trivia. We're going to skip over the old stuff. Again, it doesn't seem like we really should take a look at that stuff just because it's been retconned, basically, right? So, all right, so for Skarner, the Primordial Sovereign, it says, during the cast time, Impale's decal displays the Ishtali Axiomata. Oh. Okay. His dance is a reference to Crab Rave. Oh, that's lovely. That's perfect. And then also multiple Skarners can synchronize their dance at the same time if a nearby one initiates it. What? You could have a Skarner on the other team doing it and then they both do it. That's awesome. Some animations resemble his pre-work ones. Uh, so it says he has kept the same pose for his joke emote. 
Part of the old dance where he swings his claws in a circle can be shown during the restart segment of his current dance loop. His previous two slash animations, one for the left claw and one for the right, used during the crystal slashes cast, resemble part of his laugh emote. Okay, so they kept, I mean, it makes sense to like keep a little bit of his uh, animations in game if you don't really need to get rid of them, right? So, okay, cool. All right, guys, just let me know what your favorite Skarner skin is. Okay, we're taking a quick peek at the fandom wiki. It's a bunch of uh, repeat here in the early background and everything like that. So let's just start off with the appearance. Skarner is a kaiju-sized scorpion-like creature with six legs, a pair of thick grasping pincers, and three long tails ending in stingers. He has a teal and white carapace decorated with orange, teal, and white paint. His head is vaguely human-like despite its chitinous exterior having two glowing teal eyes and a hinged jaw and mouth, but with two insect-like mandibles. He wears relatively small decorative ornaments on his upper arms and central tail. That's a really good uh, description of his appearance here. I wonder if the, like the devs wrote that almost. Okay, so personality. Skarner is a commanding and imposing presence, speaking with the authority of an ancient, powerful being. Still, he carries an aura of formality, wisdom, and solemnity. He is single-mindedly protective of Ishtal, seeing himself as its steward and most important protector, though he cares greatly for mortals. He is keenly aware of their flaws and weaknesses, seemingly having little faith in them. Thus, he is extremely stubborn, prioritizing his own judgment above all others. He is absolutely certain that Ishtal should remain in isolation and is growing increasingly paranoid as more Ishtali begin to question their nation's solitude. Yeah, I mean, that's a great summarization of what we've read about him so far. Okay, so abilities. We have Brackern Physiology. Skarner is a Brackern, a giant scorpion-like creature with a thick carapace, immense strength, innate elemental magic, and a long lifespan. Prehensile Stingers. Skarner has three stingers, which can be used to grab objects. Brackern Geomancy. Skarner can manipulate Earth to his will, being able to use it as a weapon or to shield himself. Yep. And then Vibrational Thread Sensing. Skarner can feel vibrations across the Earth, allowing him to sense the actions of others, even across a great distance. I find that to be one of his coolest abilities, honestly. Okay, in Relations, we only have the two. We have Milio and Kiana. It says Skarner views Milio negatively and sees him as an extension of his great aunt who rebelled against the Yuntal. <laughs> that's, that's some hard feelings to have against a child. And then Kiana, Skarner is aware of Kiana's plot to seize power. Presumably, he disapproves. That's interesting that he disapproves. Okay, there is a little bit of trivia that does have the old stuff in here. I guess I'm just going to skip over the old stuff because it doesn't matter anymore. So we have, you know, the Skarner, the Primordial Sovereign stuff. It says the full name of a Brackern consists of their first name, which clan they are part of, and whom they are the progeny of. When Skarner uses Seismic Bastion, he uses geomancy, his geomancy to create earthquakes, while also summoning the earth to shield itself. Okay. And then how Skarner senses vibrational threads is similar to how Toph Beifong from Avatar The Last Airbender sees the world by feeling movement on top of the earth, which are like threads that track back to him. All right, listen, everybody, listen. Don't, don't kill me. I know what Avatar The Last Airbender is. It's hard not to, okay, but... I have not watched it. Okay, and then Clan Opal Hin were originally from the jungles of Ishtal, but there are numerous other clans across the Shuriman continent. Okay. Skarner and the Brackern speak in vibrational tones that, when heard, burrow into the mind and are translated to the listener's own tongue. Okay, that's a great way of describing how Skarner communicates. And then it says the adornments on Skarner's body were painted on by Ishtali people and he cherishes them deeply. Yeah, but he's still kind of like weird when it comes to how he feels about the Ishtal. And like, it's kind of like whatever he says goes, but like he does still care about them. It's kind of like a, uh, what is it? A possessive parent almost, right? All right, everybody, we don't have any Legends of Runeterra interactions for Skarner. I guess he's just not in that game for now. So let's go ahead and listen to these in League. We got the brand new special interactions for him. And I think we have also a voice lines video to check out as well. All right, here we go. We got about nine minutes of special interactions. I'm excited. Let's get in. Kiana, daughter oh. of the Yoon. I know what mutiny you plot in the shadows. Ah, he knows all about what Kiana's plotting. Very cool. Who else is he going to have interactions with? Zyra, okay. I will uproot you from this world like a weed. Whoa. Okay. You weave stone, Talia. Uh -huh. I command it. That's fair. <laughs> in armadillo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ramus, I don't know anything about you, but that sounds about like a great description of the him. So. Gentle flame. Uh huh. You carry a traitor's fire. Oh, he doesn't like it. Okay. Nessick's creation. Malphite, you are but a shard of your former glory. Okay, I thought Malphite was bigger. I don't know anything about Malphite. Master so. Sidejax, show uh -huh. me the final echo of Icathia's hope. Hmm. Why is he requesting that? I stand between my people and your appetite, Belveth. 
Starve. Oh, hold on. I kind of love that, dude. Because we know what Belveth wants to do. But the fact that he tells her to starve, that's badass, actually. You invited your own end, Azia. God, okay, Skarner's not a very happy-go-lucky guy, is he? Your corruption from this land, Voidborn. Hey, that's fair, though. Child of Ishtal, uh -huh. I will show you my vision of the future. Hmm, is it one where you're just ruling From over everybody? To darken, this corruption was always your fate. Okay. Ascension is but a desperate grasp for power. I will rip it from you. Oh my god. How deep his voice got when he said, I will rip it from you. Dude, Skarner's kind of scary, the, uh, dude. In death, you've woven your own shroud. Hmm. I don't know if there's more meaning to that. Someone remove this thing from my sight. He really doesn't like Aramis. <laughs> Believing yourself my equal was your undoing, Kiana. Ooh, specifically to Kiana. Even the Does he mean by by my equal, not in necessarily, but in power of like leadership over the Ishtal, right? Can ignite a wildfire, Milio. That is true, actually. <laughs> as worthless as your name, Malphite. Okay, I guess Malphite's name is worthless. I don't know. A beautiful blaze from the last light of Acathia. Hmm, I did understand that one. Rest, child of Ishtal. No one can hurt you now. Okay. He's very gentle with, like, an Ishtal, though, I guess. The gilding of the Ascended cracked to show the rot within. Wow. Drown within your lavender sea. Oh, Empress. my God. Oh, my God, dude. I'm sorry, but I kind of love how, like, dude, Skarner's kind of scary. <laughs> Only false gods bleed, Azir. Oh, dude, that's kind of savage Tree as well. You for what you truly are ascended. What? Embrace the fall. Okay. I am Skarna of Clan Opaline. Opaline. Progeny of Broodmother Nishale, mm -hmm. and I will be your undoing. Dude, whatever they, the distortion they did to his Against voice. me, you are nothing. Okay. Your impact on this world is but a grain of sand in a vast desert. Let me show you. Hmm. These are first you encounters. You request my counsel, but I do not have to accept. <laughs> that, yeah, okay. I will live an eternity. You an instant. I mean, do we know that? I feel like he does have a Your lifespan. Your will be a warning to those who would defy me. You are no threat to Ishtal now. Mm -hmm. This body lies before me as a sacrifice. Sacrifice to what? Just a sacrifice? You okay. died in service to me. Mm -hmm. Your defeat was inexorable. Inexorable. Life is violent. Mm -hmm. Death is merciless. Okay. Joker I response. sentence you to one million years in the dungeon. <laughs> That's a funny one. What was that? I hear only the rumbling of rocks. Hmm. Time to go. Rumble in the wake of my calamity. Whoa. Oh, Baron. Born, I am the arbiter of your demise. The arbiter. Crazy. Bless me, Sentinel, or perish. Wow. He gives a lot of ultimatums, You're doesn't he? But a glorified serpent. Okay, insulting the dragon. Lend me your primordial fury. Elder Dragon. Sovereign of dragons, I will break you. He's very confident as well, as you can Disgusting. see. Disgusting. <laughs> he doesn't like Gromp and he doesn't like Ramus. You herald your own demise. Hmm. A false herald to a silent crowd. False herald to a silent crowd. Bend to my will, you pebble. You pebble. I guess that does look like a rock to him. Even here, I am alone. Moving in the jungle. 
Hmm, even here Beyond I am alone. The jungle lies a wasteland of pain and suffering. Okay, that can be kind of representative of, I mean, that's true. In the lanes, there's probably pain and suffering, but also just like where he is saying like beyond the jungles of Ishtal or whatever, right? How I've missed the songs of nature. Hmm. Yeah, because he's just locked away in I his rise room. from the earth. I am the end and the beginning. I am the end and the beginning. I will repay them in kind. Ooh, that's kind of funny. I like that. They will not live to repeat their mistake. Okay. Dude, Skarner's voice lines I are great. Ancient. I am eternal. I thought he was going to say, I am Iron Man. For generations, I have defended Ishtal. I will defend uh -huh. this land too. Okay. War is a weapon of the weak. I mm. rupture the earth and bring devastation. War is a weapon of the weak. Interesting. I have seen the rise and fall of countless civilizations. Okay. This is but one moment among many. Okay, you've seen it all before. You want my protection. Prove yourself worthy, and it is yours. Hmm. Okay. I feel like Skarner's just giving fear, off dad vibes. But through wisdom and respect. Through wisdom and respect, not, not through fear. Not all tall can be trusted. I will okay. silence any who plot against me. Wow. Against wow. I mean, that right there, this voice line, sums him up. I, I feel like it kind of sums up the new lore, to be I honest. Live beneath the earth. Oh, this one too. Everything above. Yeah. There I listen and wait. Yeah, he's waiting for any threat. Mortality basically. breeds fear. Fear decays into destruction. Mm. An endless cycle. An infinite curse. That is an interesting way of looking at things. Because we're mortal, we have fear of death, right? And that fear of death just comes into some sort of destruction of things or other, of each other. And he's basically just saying it's an endless cycle. It's a curse that we have. My adornments are tributes from my people. A sign of oh, okay. reference and love. Okay, those are the little ornaments that he's got on him. Okay. I sacrificed everything for Ishtal. Mm -hmm. And in return, Ishtal has given me its trust. Yeah. I feel movements in the vibration of the earth. Like okay. threads, they are plucked and thrum. That's so interesting. I wish we got like a visual of More that somehow. Wander their short lives, slaughtering all they can for a modicum of power. Yeah, it's true. I yearn for the days when Ishtal lie in the streets to see me, mm. adore me, love me. Ooh, okay. I feel like he's got a bit Mortals of an are ego. So precious. Like young bracklings, they must be protected until they can safely leave their brood mother's back. Hmm. Life is a desperate struggle to carve meaning from a brief existence. Honestly, true. <laughs> Skarner's kind of wise in some of these voice lines. Man, okay. I want to hear from all of you on what you think of these brand new special interactions from Skarner. I thought they were all pretty good. I love the sassy voice lines that we got from him, of course. Like, he was very trash talky to, like, kind of everybody. Um, especially the Belveth ones. I felt like the one where he told her to drown in the Lavender Sea and the one for her to starve were pretty insane. Uh, the other ones were great as well. He doesn't really like Ramus or anything like that. If there's anything I missed about, like, Malphite, I think Malphite's one that I don't really understand some of those voice voice lines um other than that i pretty much understood all of them maybe the talia ones but other than that i thought these were all really great like there's moments of like skarner just being super wise and like he's got a lot of wisdom and things like that but then he's also like very like kind of scary in the way that like he'll protect ishtal through any means necessary and like he like threatens people but then also other times he kind of speaks kind of wisely and like through wisdom and respect like right here he says he doesn't lead through fear but i feel like in a way he kind of does but maybe not i don't know like if anybody were to if he were to take over ishtal it would probably be through fear not through wisdom and respect because 
he seems very much protective of Ishtal to a point where like he would just take over if he really needed to. All right, guys. Yeah, for sure. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on these new special interactions. I think they're really good. I don't know how the old Skarner voice lines and special interactions were. Maybe he didn't have that many. Maybe they like literally hadn't touched Skarner for like 10 plus or whatever years, however old Skarner is. So you guys let me know about that in the comments. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the additional voice lines that we have. Okay, so I know in the voice lines, there's usually like a lot of repeat of what we just heard. So we'll try to skip over those and just do the brand new ones. This video is 12 minutes long, but I think we're only probably gonna have like five-ish minutes of additional stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here's the dance that we saw a little bit of in the Skin Spotlights video earlier. <laughs> The crab rave, right? I have wandered too far from home. Okay, we're getting recall voice lines here. I hear the cries of my people. Hmm. Get back. Skarner hisses? <laughs> I rise from the earth. Then the earth. Oh my god, that I voice. Will bury you. Oh. Torn asunder. Dude, he is scary. I am your ruin. Drown in earth. Drown in earth. I am cataclysm. Dude. Annihilation. Okay, these voice lines are Trouble. fire. Feel the threads of vibration. Feel the threads of vibration. My voice is venom. My voice no. is venom. Holy. Pain, my reward. Crush beneath me. Bend or break. Dude. I am calamity. Who's the voice actor on this? You're they obviously mine. did something to it, I assume, but. Feel my sting. These are crazy. Flesh and bone. Bow before me. Oh, the, if you get three. You powerless. That's crazy. These tall enemies. Okay. My enemies will tremble at my name. Ooh, I love that he says Ishtal first. To protect what is mine, I will tear this land to shreds. Wow, dude. I am no mindless beast. No. I don't think you are. The threads of movement thrum beneath me. Okay. I left my brood many millennia ago. Right, right. Only I am willing to do what is necessary. Okay, hold on. That voice line alone makes it like... So he's not necessarily a hero or a villain. And I'm trying to like not set him into one or the other. But this voice line is very much like a voice line that a villain would say, right? To walk among people, I have missed this. Okay. This world is blinded by wrath and ruin. It's true. I may have faded into legend, but I am no mere story. Yeah, he exists. I am the first Yuntal, and I will be the last. Wow. I am the last bastion of Ishtal. Ishtar. Whispers of rebellion swell into screams. I am listening. Hmm. I really wonder how far he can actually hear. Like, can he hear as far as, like, you know, Piltovern's on? Probably not Ionia, since that's on a different, you know, that's, like, out there in the I'm water. I'm always listening. Peace is a fragile thing. Yep. 100%. I carry my brood mother's name with pride. Cool. It is through my sovereignty that Ishtal continues to survive. That's probably true. The sins of mortals are paid with the blood of their progeny. Hmm. I will be the last one standing. Okay. We got a few voice lines like that. the worst this world has to offer. Okay, yeah, true. I know what danger stirs beyond Ishtal's borders. Yeah, see, I want to know how far. Oh. Ikathia, Sharima, civilizations fall while I endure. Okay, I mean, he's not wrong. Nature fights because it must. Uh. I will silence your appetite. Okay, this is attacking in any your jungle. death will be my blessing. Hmm. Life bows to my command. Bows to it, huh? Mindless beasts. My resolve is stronger. He's a very confident guy, isn't knees. he? Oh, okay. Torn to yes, shreds. yes, Garner. <laughs> Witness my might. Break upon me. Mm. I eclipse you. I eclipse you. That's an interesting one. Pathetic. You are nothing. 
Dude, he's got some insults. I am broken. Yes. I am Ishtal. Ooh. You will submit. I will shatter you. Man. Pay tribute. They gave him a lot of like scary voice you lines. Absolutely. Me. Like like all of them. I am your end. Like listen to these. I am beyond myth. I'm beyond myth. I will keep them safe. Because as if guys. Must. Oh. No, I cannot die. I am eternal. Oh, that one was an angry death. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the laugh. All right. Great. We got a lot more voice lines in that than I thought, which was awesome. I mean, honestly, I think they did a really good job on just like, I don't know what kind of old voice lines Skarner even had, but I'm just going to, let's say he had like basically nothing. I think they did a fantastic job giving Skarner great voice lines and it all the voice lines really... Um, add to the lore, the new lore that they gave him of like a protector of Ishtal. I think it's awesome that they gave him like the desire to protect Ishtal. He basically says, I am the ruler technically of Ishtal. I'm, you know, I'm always running things. I've been here for millennia protecting Ishtal. And just like, I've seen all these other things like Akathia and Sharima have fallen. I've been here through it all. You know what I mean? Like Ishtal as well. So I think, yeah, I mean, all of these voice lines are really, really, really well done. I really like how, you know, we love our sassy champions. You know, I'm not going to say he's as sassy as like Aatrox or Aurelian Soul or anything like that or like Pantheon or anything. But I feel like, you know, those people that like your Aatrox voice lines, your Aurelian Soul voice lines, these are pretty up there. Because he's got a lot of crazy voice lines where he's being pretty scary and like he's talking trash and he's like, nothing can kill me. Like he's definitely got some confidence for sure. I mean, I don't have any questions. I don't think about any of the voice lines or anything. None of them are really confusing. They're pretty basic, I would say. He's got a lot of voice lines where he's just talking about like, I'll crush you, I'll shatter you, all these things, I'll eclipse you. So I think those are all pretty good. And then all the Ishtal voice lines are pretty much just like he's going to protect Ishtal no matter what. And then a, a few voice lines about like, um, you know, being able to read the threads of Earth and the vibrations of Earth, which I think is also like one of the coolest things. I'm assuming it's new. I think it's one of the coolest things they added to his lore and champion is just like being able to read the signs of the Earth and the ground and everything and know what's going on. in like, let's say Demacia, I don't know if he can go as far as Demacia and like Noxus and all that. But I think that's really cool that he's able to do that. So if he, if he knows like an army is moving on Ishtal, like Sharima's real close, right? If he thinks Sharima's coming with an army, he'll be able to tell right away. So I think that's a really cool part of his lore personally. I think they put Skarner in a great spot, even for the MMO that's gonna happen in like 10 years or whatever. Like I think he's in a great spot as just like, the protector and aka kind of ruler of Ishtal just he's going to always be there protecting Ishtal it's his home it's where he lives he doesn't want anybody taking over it he's going to be the one that will be protecting and ruling it I think that's a great spot to leave him I don't know what he had before but I think this is like giving him a great purpose and we didn't have anything like this in Ishtal I feel like Ishtal is like one of the least uh represented and least like fleshed out areas of Runeterra in my opinion so I thought this was a great place to put him I don't know where he was originally or anything like that, but I think they did a great job with the new lore. I want to hear from you guys, though, about the new lore for Skarner, what you guys think about everything overall, the voice lines, the, the rework on the abilities, the rework on the skin, anything and everything about the new rework. Please let me know in the comments what you guys thought of it. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this reaction. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one because, you know, it doesn't have as much fullness to his lore and like we don't have stories and things like that, but please do leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next reaction. I'm going to start doing a little bit more like extra videos through the weeks when I have extra time, like just shorter videos of like 10 to 15 minutes of like just listening to extra voice lines or things like that. I'll try to scatter those in, especially this week, since this one was a little bit of a shorter video. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.